This video is going to show you how to create a lead page or a launch page for your novel um, if you do not have your own website. If you have your own website, I always suggest you building a launch page there. Um, this video is really designed for someone who either is not sophisticated enough with web design to add a launch page to their website or someone who doesn't have a website yet. So this video is going to show you how to create an easy and quick launch page using MailChimp's free tool. You do not have to pay for a subscription. You do not have to have a website to do this. And, um, and it's completely free. So if you have less than 2,000 subscribers, which if you're a new author, you should have less than 2,000 subscribers. If you have more, awesome. And what you use a launch page for is to collect the emails of interested um, well, one, it's to communicate information about your book, but also to collect email addresses of anyone who's interested in, um, in your book when it releases. So this can be a really great tool to create early on, even if you don't have a lot of information about your book, create it early on, start to collect those email addresses uh, so that when it's finally ready, when it's finally out in the world, you have a bucket of people that you can email about this release and market it to. So let's dive in. Um, you're gonna log into MailChimp. You can create your account for free. Uh, go over to the Campaigns tab. And then click Create Campaign. You're then gonna click on the landing page. And I'm gonna show you two. I'm gonna show you one if you are just starting out and you don't really know a lot about your book yet. And then I'm gonna show you one um, of a book that I know everything about and I have a full marketing package for. Now select an audience. The purpose of a launch page is to collect email addresses of those people that are interested in your book. So here you're going to choose which mailing list they will be added to. So I'm going to select new release notifications. I chose this template because it's very simple um, and in the beginning you might not know a lot about your book so you want something very simple. So um, for the purposes of this example I'm going to be creating a launch page for a book called Wild City. Um, and this is all I know about it. I know the title Wild City. I know it's an inspirational memoir. It's coming fall 2019, and um, and this is this is really all I know about it. That it's one woman's journey through the streets of New York, um, and the danger, romance, and path to peace that she found in the city that never sleeps. Okay, so here is an example of, again, a simple launch page with the assumption that you don't really know a lot about your book. You might have a tagline, you have a quick summary, and you're wanting to collect email addresses and first names. You always want to grab their first name um, of people who might be interested in this book. And uh, you should, at this point in your journey, be able to have some sort of image that conjures up the feel of this book, right? So, um, so that is what's here. And if you hit this preview button, you can see what it looks like. It's not, you know, it's not going to win any graphic design awards, but it communicates what you want, um, and it looks good on mobile, which is very important. So, um, and this is a very easy page to update when you do have your book cover, your book cover will go here. When you have the title, the title can go here. Um, and you can move to a more advanced launch page, which I'm going to show you next what one looks like once you have all of the pieces. This is an example. I created it in less than 10 minutes of, um, of a basic launch page for your novel. When you don't know a lot, um, it's free, it's easy. It, captures an email address, it gets the job done, it looks professional, and, um, and it's quick. And, and this is for someone who does not have a website or does not have the ability to update their author website yet. Um, this is an easy and quick option using MailChimp. 
Now let me show you a more complex version that I also built on MailChimp for a book that I know pretty much everything about. Okay, here's an example of a fully built one. So I created this in MailChimp. It took me about a half hour, and that was mainly playing around with images like this one. Um, this is actually, I put the book cover on a white background because otherwise it did not show up well on mobile. I'm about to test on mobile, it still might not show up perfectly. But I've got the release date, I have the description, this same information like we had on the short form. But on this version, I also have some review snippets. I also added the book trailer, which they can play directly from here. It will, It is embedded. It won't bring up a separate window. I added pre-order buttons for Amazon and an add to Goodreads button. I put in a short excerpt. This could be much longer, obviously, or it could be as short as a paragraph, and a teaser along with the pre-order button again, an add to Goodreads button, and the so my social media links. So this is an example of a longer page, and this could be three times this length if you wanted to continue adding things to it, or it could be shorter. It's up to you. Uh, always test it out. I'm testing it out right now using the preview mode of MailChimp, and it allows you to view it on desktop and mobile. I also like to test it out by actually entering a dummy email address and making sure that that works and it's added to the correct list. So this is how it looks like on mobile. And here the book cover looks correct only because I put it, um, you can still see it's a little cut off at the top, but only because I put it in that white matted background, which is something I created in PicMonkey, but you could do with any photo editing software. Um, the reviews look great on mobile, the trailer looks good, um, the excerpt looks good and so does this teaser. I noticed side-by-side -side items had much more, side-by-side -side images um, did not show up well on mobile, but if it was a full-size image that spanned the entire um, width, then it showed up well. And the pre-order buttons look good here, along with the social media. So this is an example of a longer, uh, more complex launch page. Again, this took me about a half hour, which is a fair amount of time, but if you don't have a website, then this is a really, really great option to share information about your book without having um, to dive down the path of creating an entire website around it.